What is up guys? Welcome back. Hopefully everybody had a good Halloween and stayed safe. We have a new arena award hero, Nightwing, recently reworked. I personally absolutely love the Titans. I've said that in a million videos. I am really excited about this. I do have Nightwing unlocked already at L1 and with his rework, I have put together probably what has to be my favorite team comp recently actually my new favorite team comp we're gonna take a look at that we're gonna go over nightwing's kit and why he works with the team comp i have i am again on my beginners account this uh like i said before in other videos arena is definitely a good place to get easy hero fragments being able to get in that top 1500 or get above 1500 um it's pretty simple I unfortunately the last arena I was kind of thinking it's been so long since I've had 1500 trophies or dropped below 1500 trophies I actually thought it cut off at 1200 I was gonna do it in two separate weeks go to 1200 and I thought it dropped you back down to 1200 but I apparently it drops back all the way down to 900 again regardless it makes no difference I gotta grind all the way to the top because I need these Nightwing fragments um, hopefully you enjoy the video though if you do Hit that thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. We're certainly going to be doing a lot more of DC Legends since I do have my beginner account back. Now, we are going to take a look at Nightwing individually along with the other three tunes, but I just wanted to show you what the team comp is with Nightwing as lead, Dove, Deadman, and Arsenal. Almost a full Titan team. Uh, only if there was a Titan that was reliably invisible because having invisibility really helps with the Nightwing lead. And um, yeah, we're going to go over each one of the kits, why it works so well with Nightwing. Give you some possible substitutions if you don't have some of these tunes. Because obviously if this is a beginner account, you might not necessarily have all of them. Now once we get done with looking at their kit, uh, we will jump into some matches. It's not going to be anything crazy because like I said, in Arena, I, you really don't get tough opponents until a lot higher trophies. And I, I don't know, I guess I didn't know that it, I couldn't remember that it dropped you all the way back to 900. I thought it was going to drop me at, 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 at uh, 1200. But either way, let's look at this kit real quick. Uh, ability 1, damage to an enemy, 55% chance to apply 3 invisible invisibility buffs to teammates. Almost 50% chance, that's better than 50% chance, that's awesome. And then his uh, legendary power, which is the only legendary power I have. This is the one that I upgraded first, which I think is the most important as far as his kit goes. There's a couple others that are really good, but at L1, this is what I wanted the most, especially for this team comp. Gain three evasion ups and one awareness. Apply one awareness to a random ally. That is an amazing, uh, definitely an amazing legendary, I think, personally. Um, ability 2, damage to all enemies, gain 4 agility ups. You really don't need the agility ups because you have so many awarenesses, so many evasions. The agility ups really don't matter. And uh, he gains defense, which you'll see with evasions. But debuff immunity, which is cool. That's definitely useful. And apply stun to primary target. So the ability isn't all that special, but the debuff immunity and a stun to the target is amazing if you use uh you know legendary power on that one and then his third ability heavy damage call assist 30 percent chance to call assist again also gain damage immunity which is amazing just like awareness right apply two awarenesses to assisting teammates so you can possibly have it anytime he does three get two assisting teammates apply two awarenesses to each of those fantastic uh, third ability, Nightwing, 65% increased defense when he has evasions. Not necessarily all that big a deal because he has so many evasions. Having high defense really doesn't matter all that much. Uh, but start the battle with three evasions, three awarenesses. That's a pretty, pretty decent uh, legendary power as well. And then his last one, the team leader, 55% chance to use a tumbling combo on random enemy at the end of every ally's turn if any ally is a invisible 
So I kind of went with invisibility and uh, hit chance downs and um, evasions and all that stuff. And you'll see, you know, why later on in the kit. Start the battle. Uh, all teammates gain invisibility. I don't think this is an important one at all. And actually, if I do L5 him ever, I will probably never use this one and not even apply it because I don't like it. Especially with this particular team comp. Dove, I have an L3, which is uh, the most legendary power that I have for any tune on this team right now. Um, and fits really good. Uh, single damage to an enemy. Hit chance downs. Applying hit chance downs to the enemy and gaining three evasion ups. Amazing. Apply four evasion ups and shield. And you can apply additional shield if Hawk's on the team, but I don't ever put Hawk on the team. Um, apply two strength ups and two additional strength ups if Hawk is on the team. Legendary power is really not all that important for this one. Definitely the first one though, because it gains three evasion ups. You want that for this particular team comp. I'm just explaining, I guess, kind of why this one is important for this comp. Damage to all enemies. Apply three hit chance downs to all enemies. Fantastic. Perch three debuffs on Dove. Not necessarily all that special, but purging debuffs is helpful. And then the other two legendary powers that I got. Uh, every time Dove evades an attack, 57% chance to apply silence on the attacker and gain three agility ups. Uh, also use Dove Kick. So if she evades an attack, she can use Dove Kick, which also gains her more evasion ups. She can get crazy difficult to deal with if once these evasions start stacking right. And then the last one, at the end of every Dove's turn, 79% chance to gain two strength ups if she has three evasion ups, which she does all the time. Gain two extra if Hawk is on the team, not necessarily important. But then the legendary powers start with three evasion ups. Then we got Dead Man, which is not is the weak link. Definitely the weak link because uh, I only have him at rank four. So I really hope I get a chance to get more Dead Man fragments. I was thinking that with Halloween maybe today or tomorrow maybe they'll throw in you know one with dead man since they're throwing a lot of Halloween stuff in there anyways ability one purge one uh, buff from the target 20% chance to stun not necessarily all that special this is not why I use them on the team uh, special damage this is why we use them on the team start the battle with a permanent unpurgeable invisibility so you remember Nightwing's passive, if any teammate is invisible, over 55% 50, chance to use his first ability and uh, that applies awarenesses to team and all of that stuff. And so uh, he has a permanent unpurgeable invisibility. That's why he's on there. And then this one, um, sorry to bother, crit chance. Call assists from a random ally, which I always do with Nightwing, because again, he applies awarenesses and all that stuff, and uh, gets evasions. 70% to call assist again, which is good. Just don't have any legendary powers for him. And then the last one, still up to two buffs from the target. Apply them to all allies. This is definitely useful. If it has no buffs, apply stun instead. Like I said, only rank four, so I don't have the last one. Uh, unlocked yet when an enemy dies 40% chance to gain four intelligence up again not necessarily important he is on the team because it's permanent unpurgeable invisibility and then the last tune we got on the team is Arsenal uh, probably not necessarily the best of tunes but I think he fits really well in this kit I mean really good really like him unless he's a Titan how can you not like Arsenal bro um Light damage to an enemy, apply two strength down, 50% chance to attack again. This will probably, probably be my next legendary power, but it's really not all that important. As long as you have him at L1, which is what we do, his very last ability, is, or his last passive, is what we have him on the team for. Everybody chill, light damage, uh, one strength down, always apply five hit chance downs to missed targets. You gotta miss though. Damage to two hit chance downs to an enemy, which is nice. That's what I usually open up with. Uh, five damage debuffs just to get the hit chance downs on the other team. And then we got passive ability. When an enemy deals damage, 18% chance to apply two strength downs, two end downs for each affected ally. 18% chance is not that much. Not really that big of a deal. 
Um, and it's passive. Concussion grenade activates reduce cooldown of blinding impact by one. Not necessarily all that important. His very last ability, though, this is why he is on the team. This is why I like him so much. 75% chance to use a crippling arrow on enemies when they miss an attack. And his legendary power is why we added him. Gain invisibility if not invisible. So, dead man. Permanent, unpurchable invisibility. Uh, arsenal. 75% of the time, he's going to have... Uh, invisibility if not more because he is uh countering and when they miss an attack nightwing and dove are gonna have tons of evasions hit chance downs on the enemy they miss all of the time he uses his speedy counter constantly he's invisible a lot of the time and dead man's invisible a lot of time which means that they only ha they can only hit two targets nightwing or dove and they evade all the time works great like i said we are pretty low level um so i've only had the chance to test this team out yesterday before i decided to make a video on it uh, i only did one team that was kind of really that meta it was legendary power arcus um legend it was the four legendaries i can't remember who all it was but it wasn't even necessarily the best matchup but it was still really good and we came out on top uh, without anybody dying it took a while because this team doesn't necessarily put out the damage you want but it can certainly sustain and certainly miss and certainly do all that stuff so let's just take a look at it let me show you uh what goes on what happens and why i love this team so much so obviously it starts off uh dead man permanent unpurchable invisibility which helps nightwing and then we got dove with three evasions to start with we're gonna put hit chance downs on a target. There are people like Kemo who does have abilities in which they can't miss if they do have the legendary power on there. Um, with Nightwing, I typically use his basic pretty much every single time unless he's just stacked with evasions. Now look what happens once he does uh, his basic. And he can call assist or he can apply evasions to himself. He can apply awarenesses. He can do all that stuff. There's one. Dead man. We're going to clone Nightwing. And he's going to attack more. Get more evasions. Apply more awarenesses. We did have the opportunity to get two uh, attacks. But um, I think it's only like a 50% chance. I can't remember. Now then we got Dove, who can either apply hit chance downs to the team or shield the entire team with uh, evasions. So I'm just going to, let's just supply evasions, buff the team up a little bit, got a little call assist, missed on all the targets, missed on that target, there goes Arsenal, missed again, Arsenal only activated one time that time though, that's a little bit unfortunate, we'll kill her. Missed. Hit chance downs. We're going to apply stun to Chemo. Get more evasions, more awarenesses. Let's just attack him. Missed. There goes Arsenal again. Hit chance downs. Another, another, uh, call assist. There goes Chemo. We got Doom on Arsenal, though, unfortunately, and I think he's going to die. Uh, we're going to use ability 3 this time. Heavy damage. 30% chance to call another target. So let's just try that on Batman. That's a lot of call assists right there. Arsenal's probably going to die. Uh, next turn, I think. So we've got to try to kill Batman quick. Purge that. Got a call assist. And then there is the last attack. Piece of cake. Let's do one more just so maybe, I don't know, maybe we can get Arsenal to activate a few more times. He actually didn't activate all that much. See some more missed attacks and things, which is uh, always helpful. Let's do a, let's do it on Starfire. Just because she's a green. We got the activation there, or the call assist. Look at all those uh look at all those evasions already and awarenesses on nightwing we got awareness on arsenal we got awareness on dead man and then uh dove of course with her 
Um, now we could do, you know what, let's just do Dove this time. Even though if we did Nightwing, he would apply awarenesses to the team. But let's give Dove more evasions and give them more hit chance down. So let's just do Dove. They're just one, gotta miss that time. Let's apply more awarenesses. Arsenal's invisible. All those misses, missed every single attack with that. There's a miss again. There's Arsenal again with his activation. Got a call assist right there. Let's do... Um, we got tons of awarenesses on everybody. Let's get a call assist by Deadman. He should steal that. We're going to steal this and apply it to the entire team. Hit chance downs to everybody. More call assists. There's a miss. Retaliate by both Dove and Arsenal. Now, if you look at uh, Nightwing, look how many awarenesses he has. Look how many evades he has. Look at Dove with all of her evasions. Even Arsenal has awarenesses. Dead man has awarenesses. It's just ridiculous, man. Um, like I said, this team comp does work against teams that are higher. And I have fought against other teams that are all legendary. And it does still work pretty good. I wish I had some to be able to show just because I'm so low in arena right now. And so low in my uh, siege. That I really don't have any others. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Get to grinding on some Nightwing, yo. I really love his kit. I really love this team comp that I have. I hope that I can get more dead man fragments. And uh, I, I do kind of think that it is obviously very red heavy. There are some possible um, counters to them, especially ones that can still attack dead man, ones that can purge buffs, the one, you know, opponents that have can't miss attacks. All of those can be problematic. Uh, even ones that have like, uh, Enchantress. If Enchantress was lead and applied damage immunity to everybody, we have nobody that can strip buffs except for dead man. He is the only one with his basic so there are teams that this might not go well against, but uh, if you don't have some of these tunes, um, some possible alternates like for Dove, for example, is probably Batman, Cape Crusader. He does have abilities where he can start the match with invisibility and get invisibility during a lot of his um, during a lot of his attacks. Um, also, let's see, uh, Impulse is another one, possibly. He does moves that apply hit chance downs. He also can gain evades. Um, who else can we put in? Uh, I, I also love Terra. Not that she necessarily goes well with this team, but I've thought about just switching out one of them and maybe, like, Arsenal. I just like his, uh, speedy counter and the fact that I can get two members on the team invisible almost all of the time which makes them want have to attack Nightwing and Dove and so I really like that uh, I'm sure that there are a absolute ton of other tunes either that have evasions or that can apply hit chance downs I can't think of any like really off the top of my head uh, Batgirl um, but she needs to be team lead. Let's see, Catwoman, she has an invisibility which you could possibly use. Uh, I think Green Arrow can go invisible as well. Um, there are certainly tons of tunes that can do that. I'm sure that there are also tons of tunes that can apply uh evasions as well to themselves but i think i've talked too much i just wanted to show you this uh, new team that i've been using all of the time so far in all of my siege matches in all of my pvp arena and i just absolutely love the titans and i love the new night ring rework and it goes really well with these tunes and so as i unlock other tunes in this new beginner account they are again level 25 uh, not any higher than that, and that's just as far as we stop at. 
works really well. Either way though, hopefully y'all had a great Halloween and all that stuff. And I will see y'all soon for the new tune that's coming when we do those hero challenges. Or maybe something in between. Either way, I'll check y'all later. I am out. Peace.